Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about who should you date as an artist. I'm not saying that you should date, you know, Emma, Adam, or you know, whoever. I'm not a fortune teller. I can't tell you how and where you're gonna find the love of your life. But I can tell you one thing. I can tell you what qualities you should be looking for when you're looking for a partner because I find most of successful artists tend to date a certain kind of people with certain qualities. And that's why I will share with you my findings today. I cannot tell you right away the results because it wouldn't make any sense if I just tell you this is the finding here. It will only confuse you. I will be showing you the whole thinking process and how I come to this conclusion. So bear with me until the end of this video. So I'll give you like a long video warning. When I was doing this uh, research for today's video, it's the Valentine's Day, love is in the air. Usually during the Valentine's Day's week, I do at least one video about the artist relationships. Last year I did those series of videos I will show you in the link in the description below. And I was doing this and this year the same. And I was writing down, let's say, the artist couples and things that they do together. And I realized that the other significant half of the successful artists tend to give one of the following things. When I first thought about an artist just quickly, for example, Obey is a famous street artist in America. I'm sure you have seen a lot of his works. He's so established, he's everywhere. He's also a very successful brand, not only a fan artist or street artist, but also a, a clothing company. And his name is Shepard Ferry, the real name. And the wife is Amanda Ferry. Amanda Ferry is a film producer. He's also a very successful business manager. She's very mighty, she's very well connected, and she has all the knowledge uh, equipped it as she's a trained film producer. I was trained to be a film producer, so I know that what it takes to be one. So you need to know about art, business, and the connection of everything in the art and business world. I'm not their personal friend. I cannot tell you right away how much she had uh, made Shepard Ferry successful and made Obey today who he is. When the wife of Obey is a business manager, a film producer, it helps. Let's be honest, it helps. And also I looked at another couple, Frida and Diego Rivera. You know Frida, the Mexican female painter. You know her eyebrows, at least you have seen her self-portrait for sure. She's everywhere. And when she was looking for a mentor at a very young age, as a teen, she found Diego Rivera. Diego Rivera at that time was 20 years older, was uh, more established as an artist and one of the top artists in the country. And Frida was at that time nobody. And because of the relationship, she could learn so much from him. As a very young artist being together with a very established older artist with a lot of experience, for sure she had been influenced, been guided. And um, I would say Rivera made Frida the, the girl or the female painter she was. So as you can see, there are different kind of couples like that in the art world, you know, one more established in the business world or in the art world, helping the other one. And this is not alone in the art world. It's in also in other industries, um, in the, for example, uh, in the entertainment world, director and actress couples are very, very common. And the musician and the producer couples are also very, very common. So I cannot tell you uh, all the list because it goes on forever. But through the analysis of those couples, I realized that the most significant half of the most successful artists would be able and willing to give one, at least one of the following six things. Number one, connection. Connections are very important when you first enter, let's say the art world or whatever industry you need to be introduced, just a stepping stone. And the connections are more and more important from your spouse because now we have less uh, siblings. Before you would have an older brother typically introduce you to the industry that he was familiar with or you know, he is in, and you could uh, use him as the door opener to get into uh, any industry. And because parents nowadays have less and less children, uh, fewer children, I mean, I don't know how to describe that. There are sometimes policy influence, like one child policy, like in my case, there's sometimes just a personal choice. If you don't have brothers and sisters, who would be opening the doors for you? Who would be able to help you? Guess what? Your spouse. So connections from spouse side is definitely a huge help. Number two, knowledge. 
that would be the knowledge in the art history, in the art techniques, and in the, let's say, art market today, like Freda and Diego Rivera. I would say Diego gave Freda a lot of knowledge and expertise in order to nourish her, and the knowledge is less important today because now you can purchase knowledge on the internet. It's not expensive. You can purchase a master class or a coaching session fairly cheaply and knowledge becomes affordable. Therefore, it's less important. It doesn't necessarily must come from your spouse. Number three, equipment and other uh, facilities. That was important before, like before old times, if you are like a, a lithographer, you want to print art prints, you need a warehouse, you need a lot of uh, metal plates, a lot of equipment. Today, any person could afford a digital printer or print on demand, even better. You don't need to invest a penny in order to have your art produced. It's less and less important like the knowledge because it's widely available to common people today. The next is money. Money was important and even more important today because like any business, art business is a business. If you want to start your art business, you need an initial amount of money to kickstart your art business with uh, less subsidies from institutions and more, let's say, free market competition. So money definitely is a big one. The next thing is emotional support. You want the significant half of yours to be able to understand you, where you come from, what struggles you have, the difficulties emotionally, because we don't have siblings and the parents, our parents, having us later in life than before, right? So likely when we are 56 years old, uh, we're still working as an artist, but um, our parents might not be around anymore. So it's very important to have the spouse that can understand you, can understand all the struggles that you face to give you the emotional support. The last thing is time. Likely the partner of the artist would be working on the project or even completely quit his or her job to support his partner um, or her partner. I mean, like it's, you get me, right? So it's a common thing. I personally know two artists, Chinese artists and their wives both quit their jobs to support uh, the husbands. But one wife was a business manager before, another one was a housewife. So they both spent eight hours in the business of their husbands, but the results were very different because of course, if you are more um, capable as a business person, you can get more results out of your eight hours work. Therefore, time is important. If your partner is willing to spend time on your project, that's great, but it's the quality of time. Also, if you two work well as a team, it's also very important. So that is a thing to consider. I cannot say generally, but let's say looking at successful artists and their relationships, they tend to work pretty well together on the art business together. And those are the six things I find many successful artists um, would tend to have, um, would tend to receive from their partners. Of course, there are exceptions, but those are the things that I find through the analysis of the famous artists and their couples. And I came to the conclusion that it's a typical entrepreneur and angel investor relationship. So an entrepreneur would typically raise an initial amount of money through a business angel investor. And the angel investor would be typically an older, more experienced entrepreneur in the same industry. For example, if you're in art, you'd be looking for a mentor entrepreneur in art as your angel investor. If you are in retail, you look for someone in retail. So this person can give you money as investment. It would give you expertise give you emotional support, open your doors, introduce you to um, their friends, their business partners, and also borrow you equipment, uh, staff, a lot of things, and also perhaps spend time with you to help you build a successful business together as a team, depending on the time of the business angel investor has, and also depending on the dynamic of the team, the type of the project, the amount of the investment, many things. It's very similar to artists and their spouse or their partners. They work hand in hand together on the same project to make it successful. And once the project becomes successful, uh, the business angel 
could either cash out the receive the money as a like return on uh, your investment and then cash out and leave the project or would stay to have the thrill of the ride of the you know to the silicon valley to become the unicorn company with uh, billions of dollars some Android investors would never sell their stocks never sell their shares only to hold on to it to have a say in the baby in their own like project that they have uh, built and they have invested their um, love and emotion and time and money so depending on the dynamics of each partnership it's different i'm telling you this because i found that if you would like to have a business android investor you can but if you would like to have your future partner and you have no idea where to look and what qualities to look those are the qualities you need to look just like the qualities you look in an android investor if you would like to know more things about how does Android investors work, you can uh, drop me a comment below and I can get back to you answering your questions. And also I'm very curious about what kind of qualities you care about in your future potential partner. All right, that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.